colored lights and drive to a safe location before pulling over. So he drove less than a mile home. We get to my house, I pull in. I'm not speeding at all. Balcones Heights Police Chief John Jahanara told me over the phone his officer claimed the driver was evading him. The officer then draws out his weapon. The chief also added dash camera video did confirm the hazard lights were on. Zimmerly says the teens complied with the officer as he asked them to get out of the vehicle with their arms up and then get on the ground. Uh, we were like, how was your day? And he was all like, shut up. He called me an editor, which is like a, like people with this hair type of haircut. And like, it just feels like he was calling me like slurs. Like, you know, I told him I have a name, sir. And then he just ignored me. Like They admit they started to talk back to the officer. I guess Gio said something that triggered his uh, anger. And, and it's this moment they claim the officer was using excessive force. Yeah, I didn't know what he was doing. I just felt punches like like forced to my face and my head. The police chief says his officer told him Ramirez had reached for his leg, so that's what prompted his use of force. But the chief added the body camera video didn't capture a leg grab. Ramirez says it didn't happen. All while this was going on, Zimmerly's father, who was outside the home, was also placed in handcuffs. So I thought we were going to go to jail. But then they say things started to de-escalate. Eventually, they were all let out of their handcuffs and Zimmerly was ticketed for driving without insurance. He was just out of pocket.